Jeff Breidich spent seven years as Rockies general manager and won one playoff game. And now he is leaving as the team takes up residence in the National League basement. This isn't exactly the sort of stuff you brag about on LinkedIn. The Rockies were under 500 in five of Breidich's seven seasons as GM. He was personally criticized for clashing with star Nolan Arenado. A feud that eventually ended with the Rockies paying the St. Louis Cardinals $50 million to take Arenado off their hands. Well, the Rockies will now join the Broncos in making a GM change during the pandemic. So will it pay off? Denver 7's Nick Rothschild is live tonight with instant analysis from fans and players. Nick. Well, and as a lifelong Rockies fan, not a lot shocks me when it comes to these guys, but I got to say, I never thought I would have seen Jeff Breidich relieved of his GM duties in the middle of the season. Actually, just 21 games in, that's all it took for the Monforts and Breidich to come to a, quote, mutual agreement to part ways. Yeah, mutual. Whatever the reasoning is, Breidich is gone, and he did release a statement on his way out saying, quote, it became abundantly clear that ushering in new leadership is critically important. <laughs> no kidding. Well, the Rockies aren't in town at the moment. We did hear from Bud Black moments ago. He said he was shocked to find out that Breidich was stepping down. You can hear from Bud in his own words coming up on Denver 7 News at 6 o'clock. I did speak to fans today here in Lodo, and as you can expect, they're pretty pleased with the way things turned out. Breidich, no secret, he was kind of enemy number one for the folks in the rock pile. And the fans that I spoke to did say they felt like this was a decision that was a long time coming. Uh, it was a smile on saying they finally made the right decision <laughs> and a move that they should have made <laughs> a while ago. Everybody's upset about the Arenado move, and that's kind of my joke of like, well, this is finally the right move that they made <laughs> yeah. organization-wise. At this point, you just sort of have to shrug and be like, yeah, I saw that coming. And hopefully whoever they bring in has got some sort of an idea. One thing to keep in mind with the Rockies is getting rid of Jeff Breidich is a lot like treating the symptoms of a disease. It'll make you feel better, but if you want to get healthy, you have to cure the disease. It's a disease I like to call Monforditis. Reporting live outside Coors Field tonight, I'm Nick Rothschild for Denver 7 Sports. All right, Nick, thanks very much.